Hi, uh, my name is Nathan Beard and the work that I've produced for the Here and Now exhibition this year is a series called limp Wristed Gestures. So they consist of two pairs of silicone casts of my own hands and they are installed on top of uh, curved steel bases. The hands themselves are cast in the different positions of Thai dance from the tradition of Lacan Nai. Uh, one pair is doing a floral formation and the other is doing a leaf formation. Uh, the hands themselves are embellished with a range of acrylic nails, uh, found objects such as fake orchids and miniature fish sauce bottles. I think with this work what I wanted to do was challenge myself by uh, I think working sort of intuitively and uh, having I guess what I would call like an elastic approach to materials and references. This work in particular it was all about just trying to adopt new material skills to sort of inject a bit more humour and lightheartedness in the work knowing that I didn't really want to over explain any individual element or inspiration in the body of work. So the different cultural references that I'm drawing upon they either speak to this idea of tiness and like the sort of campness of the exotic and really pushing that forward and then also just um, being able to work in a slightly uncanny realm as well. I was specifically trying to find um, nail polishes that were discontinued as well because I wanted to have this idea of like scarcity built into the sort of like embellishments in the work as well, particularly with the nails. Um, so there's a discontinued bronze of, um, it's called Sunburnt Topaz, I think, of um, Tom Ford nail polish. And um, it's very evocative of like the deep bronze hues of uh, like Buddhist statues as well. There's also these other sort of um, spiritual connections to some of the materials as well. So using the monk's robe fabrics uh, in order to make the garlands and also casting um, segments of this fruit called the Buddha's hand out of uh, yellow candle wax which is made from the types of candles that you would light as an offering in a, in a Thai Buddha shrine as well. So I wanted to have this sort of like thread between all of these elements which is all about this sort of like idea of like elevation and uh, I guess empowerment. Um, so ultimately I think they have these sort of resonant qualities when they're all combined together and they sort of make these works these sort of like more empowered sort of totems to like this effeminate sort of like limp wristed gestures that I'm, I'm modeling my hands after. Freedom of being able to explore my practice within a show that is um, showcasing work from uh, queer identifying artists uh, gives the work a little bit more freedom to sort of operate as well.